Hey everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Screencast. Screencast is a new tool that we just launched that allows you to record your screen as well as the commands that you use in your design process with Fusion 360. So if you think about other screen recording software that you've used, not only can you record what is on screen, uh, the screencast also compiles all the commands that you use in chronological order, in a timeline, so that you can actually go back and forth and see a workflow take shape and see it from beginning to end. Uh, so this is a pretty, pretty cool and powerful tool for users to refer to, uh, to use, and to learn from. And uh, I'm going to walk you through a bit how to, how to download it and how to use it. So. To get it, you can you can get it in two places. Uh, one is going to screencast.autodesk.com. Once you get to that page, you'll see this free download button. And if you click it, it will take you to the download page. And you will be able to download the Windows version and the Mac, Mac version. So I'm running a Mac, and I'm just going to get the Mac version. Uh, basically go through the same install process as any other Mac app. And uh, yeah, and go from there. All right, so I just installed Screencast and I launched Fusion 360 and I'm in my dashboard. And now there is a new icon next to the help icon called Launch Screencast Recorder. This will allow you to launch Screencast right from Fusion 360. So if I click that, uh, it's going to ask me to open. I say yes. And now it's going to sign me in. You'll basically use your same sign-in information uh, as your Fusion 360 sign-in and sign into Screencast. So let's try recording. Well, I'm going to click on the record button and right away it's throwing me a warning saying that uh, in order to record the keyboard input, you have to access uh, the assistive devices and enable Screencast uh, within that. So I'm going to click OK. And when I do click OK, it throws me into the uh, Mac accessibility uh, option. Now, for those of you who are running Mavericks like I am right now, it actually throws you into uh, the, the wrong one. And I want to show you how to get to the right one. So I'm actually going to go back, go to the main system preferences window. And what Screencast does is it throws you into here this accessibility option here, but the actual option that we want is in security and privacy. So I'm going to double click on that one. And now this is the right accessibility option. So I'm going to unlock this, uh, put in my password to unlock. And then I'm going to check screencast. So make sure that screencast in this option is checked. And then I'm going to clock it. And now we're all set. So now we should be able to record. And I'm going to start doing that. So let's click record. The window will minimize. And now notice that the screencast icon in your taskbar is, uh, is active. And now it says it's recording. So let's do something pretty simple. Let's create a couple bodies in Fusion 360. So I'm going to hover over create, click on Fusion 360 design. And uh, let's give it a name. Let's just say lamp base and neck. Lamp base and neck and say create. All right, so we have the start of a base and a neck of a lamp. And let's just say this is going to be uh, the video that I want to record. So now I want to stop. I want to stop the screencast. So I'm going to click on the icon and say stop. And once I've stopped the recording, it will now maximize the window showing me a preview of what's been recorded. So now I have recorded five minutes of um, the workflow. Uh, you can also edit, do some very simple editing and uh, you know, cut certain areas if you feel like you've either messed up or they were too long. Um, so you can do that. You can set various markers. I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm going to return to preview. And now I'm going to save and upload.
All right. And now it just said that my screencast is ready. Uh, and uh, I can add users and groups to this private screencast. So if I click that link, it will then launch the web browser to and take me to the screencast I just uploaded. If I click on my screencast, this is kind of the video manager of screencast. And right now the, the new one that I just created uh, is still being processed. So it will actually get, shoot you an email and, uh, and it will let you know that your, your screencast is available for viewing. All right, looks like the new video just got finalized. Uh, I'm going to click into it and watch what I just recorded. So if I click that, it will take me into the video. Right now it's showing that the screencast is private, which is exactly what I want. Uh, and now you can see the video that I created and you can see the timeline that uh, has all the commands that uh, I used. And uh, you can zoom in and out and see exactly at what point in time I used what command and uh, and yeah, and learn from from the timeline as as the video progresses. So the timeline will move at the same pace as the video, um, and uh, yeah, it will be pretty useful to follow along. So right now, I'm gonna click on the play minimize and uh, <laughs> turn the sound off. You don't want to hear two of me. And uh, as you can see now, the video is playing, the timeline is going, and essentially you have now a fully recorded screencast. So yeah, give this a try, play around with it. Hopefully this will be really useful for learning content, for, for whatever you need to record. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to give us feedback. We'd love to help. And thanks for watching.